it out loud. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dear John John. Dear Ashley. Dear Matthew. Dear Tori. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. Sooner or later, the man who wins is a man who thinks he can. Vince Lombardi. To begin telling you how incredibly proud of you we are would be a bit of a cliche, but that is truly how we feel. As we get excited to celebrate your graduation day together, words cannot express the feelings of pride and joy that we have for you achieving this great accomplishment. From the beginning of your college search, you have shown how insightful you are by choosing a place somewhat far from home instead of a college close by. You knew yourself well. You would have been home every weekend. <laughs> As we look back from when this quote was first used to now, we stand in awe of you. Four years ago, a young girl had the courage to commit to this journey to attend a small school in Northern Iowa. We had fun getting your dorm room decorated with you and your bed ready to sleep in, but we knew we had to leave and that was going to be hard. Your first semester was a transition for you, as you have said. You were lost trying to find where you fit in, in a big school. You and I offered an abundance of opportunities and for someone who has always seen himself as quiet and unsure, you dove into, the, into those opportunities. But you continued on, immersing yourself in your schooling and making new friends. You became a resident advi advisor for two years on the freshman only floor. You've transitioned into a confident young woman who is ready to take on the world as a teacher and lead the youth of the state that you have come to love and will now call home. Then came your decision to, grad, to go to graduate school after graduating from you and I. Again, this was not your comfort, not in your comfort zone. So you thought, but you went for it. And from then on, there was no stopping you. Your infectious spirit and ability to find good in everything you encounter is a testament to your love for God, his children, and the world we live in. With your gift from your freshman residence, a greatest dad mug, you gave from your heart, you led by example, you encourage your residents to get involved and have Panther pride. From making decisions about what classes to take, where to buy your books, what organizations to get involved in, getting a job on campus, and where to live and with whom, you really grew up in a few short years. From the little fourth grader who came home devastated because of a B plus in math, to the newest teacher of Seidel School District, you continually make us proud, proud to say, that's our daughter. You are the man who has one, Jonathan Wayne Klein. You are fast, you are strong, but more than that, you are faithful and hardworking. What you have learned both academically and emotionally during your time at UNI will enable you to be successful no matter where life takes you. We are so humbly and yet incredibly proud of you and all of your many accomplishments, but more importantly, proud of who you are inside. We know your grandpa and Uncle Tim would have loved to see you graduate and we know that they are watching and are very proud of you. You reach that goal even with a major hardship along the way. A quiet yet powerful leader you are, Jonathan. They know, and we know too, that you will be a phenomenal teacher, and the young people you mentor from this day forward will be blessed by your passion to teach, to learn, and to love. Saying we are proud of you is an understatement. You've accomplished something special that you should be proud of and will cherish forever. You're an outstanding person and we are honored to have you as our daughter. It has been our pleasure to watch your growth and progress throughout the years, and we can never say we love you nearly enough. We love you, Mom and Dad. With love, Mom and Dad. We love you, Dad and Mom. Love, Mom and Dad. P.S. Always remember the little life lessons we've taught you, and please don't ever forget the way home. <laughs> I really did get a B plus in math one time and I cried about it. Oh, and now I'm gonna be a teacher. I'm my parent, my mother's son and I tend to tear up during this stuff, so. This note just kind of reflects everything of how it wasn't easy. Now I'm sad. <laughs> because I'm not ready to be done here. It's not a college isn't what I always isn't always what you expect it to be. I just think that, you know, you and I has been great and just to know my parents had the same, you know, feelings and supported me all along the way has been incredible and just knowing that they've stood by me all this time. I guess I just feel blessed and a lot of, a lot of good people 
family, friends, advisors, professors that I've been able to encounter with my time here. And, because it was the fastest four years ever. And my parents are proud of me. This makes me feel genuinely happy with my college decision and I just, I mean I know my parents have supported me all this way but for them to you know put that support into words I think makes it really special and I think that I would not be half the person I am without you and I. Last part, please don't ever forget the way home. Like, okay, I'm never moving away now, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just glad to have the support I've had from my friends, my family, um, and especially my parents.